This is an excerpt from the Toeside to Hillside Jibe video, showing one of the key elements for your board and legs. So, as you carve up wind, the kite comes up and you should allow your weight to come up over your front foot. If we compare the body position at this point to that whilst we were previously cruising along, you can see how that before our front leg was slightly straight and there is a bit more weight on our back foot. Whereas after the calf and kite movement, our body is square to the board. So it's natural to have your weight come over your front foot. You don't have to force it. Your back foot should suddenly feel very light with little pressure on it. It's at this moment that you should be able to step forward and place your back foot alongside your front foot. It's important you keep your legs slightly bent to absorb any chop. Also, really think about pushing down with your front foot, gripping with your front foot to pull your body upright. Your back foot forward and your hips twisting to face forwards. This is not a passive move. Actively think about using your leg muscles, engaging your core to control your upper body and hips. The design of a surfboard means you should be able to ride with your feet together in the middle of the board, like this. Balance your weight between the board and kite. Found this video helpful? It's just a small excerpt from the Carving Turns Toe Side to Hillside Jibe video, available now on the Progression Player app. Check out the full Carving Turns collection trailer or browse our playlist of kitesurfing videos.